I want to answer Shauna Blue's questions. Um, okay, so first of all, uh, how? So Shauna's question was: there was a there was a live stream that I did uh, a few days ago, talking. I was answering someone else's question um, about their VA, and we talked about how because uh, they were asking about salary, and I was saying how in uh, our program, Front Row CEO, that's the program that teaches you how to hire and train your for- perfect match virtual assistant. Uh, I, I was talking about how it was perfect timing for their question because actually in the new version of the program, uh, which launches soon, uh, we are changing up what we teach as it relates to hourly versus salary. And we are encouraging people to do what what I have done, which is to start paying a salary versus hourly. So if you want more information about that, you can go watch that video. It was, it was recent. So then Shauna was like, well, how do I know, how do I know what is a good salary? Which just brings me, you know, I'm going to steer you back to the front row CEO program. Cause Shauna, I'm pretty sure you took that program where it talks all about how do you figure out how much to pay someone salary or hourly We talk about that and the program mostly focuses on the Philippines, although um, the system works, whether you're hiring someone from the Philippines, the United States, you know, UK, anywhere. But we talk about a lot about the Philippines for a number of reasons there. I love hiring from the Philippines, Uh, but you can leverage the exchange rate. That's why this works so well. It works so well for small business owners because, you know, I don't think anyone doubts that, um, you know, someone, a VA that is doing great work for you is worth $25 an hour, right? Like, you know, certain things are expensive, time consuming, require a certain skill set. But if you're a small entrepreneur, you can't get any meaningful help at $25 an hour because you just aren't at a place where you can afford um, to pay that for 20 or 40 hours a week, right? So in the Philippines, because the exchange rate is so different, the cost of living is really so different. Uh, I mean, you'll you'll see, uh, we've got a chart that is, I'm getting ready to publish a blog post that has an infographic um, that really spells it all out for you, how far a dollar goes. And and it really, it's a very recent, recent calculations, very accurate calculations, but, but a dollar goes a long way. So... Uh, In the program, we talk about starting out at around $4.50 an hour um, for a trial period. And then you move into, after that, you you give a bit of a raise and you continue to give raises over the course of time. And the reason why this system works so well is because we don't just say, go out and find the cheapest contractor you can find. Number one, we don't want contractors. We actually want a person who is going to be a partner for you in your business and grow with you in your business for the years uh, in years to come. And so in order to facilitate that kind of relationship, you've got to build in some trust right in the beginning. Like obviously you need to trust them, but they also need to trust you, right? They're going to be more committed to you um, if you can promise certain things. So what's a girl to do if you're a small entrepreneur, you don't have a ton of capital to, you know, to pay someone um, huge amounts of money, well, they're, they're growing with you. So number one, it's starting at that low rate that you can afford. So let's break it down. If you're paying four, I have to use round numbers. So we're going to say $5 an hour. So if you're paying $5 an hour, um, if you're paying $5 an hour for 20 hours a week, you're paying $100 a week. That is affordable. If you can't afford $100 a week in your business, then I would argue that you don't really have a business yet. Um, it's not quite there yet. Maybe you're just, we're still maybe going to call it a little bit of a side hustle or a hobby. But if you can't spare a hundred bucks in your business every week, you, you, you just aren't, you don't have a business yet. Okay. So hundred bucks a week. Um, and then as you grow together, you can offer incentives, incentives based on certain benchmarks. So that could be like, um, if you reach a certain number of email subscribers or Instagram followers, or, uh, what I like to do is to, to build in profit sharing. So like if, um, if you launch, if, if you, if you launch a course or some sort of, you know, membership site, some sort of product and you, 
reach your goal, then you're going to give, you can let your team know up front, like, Hey, if we hit this goal, everybody's going to get X percent of the gross revenue. Um, that's incredibly motivating. And right from the get go, your team is, has a sense of ownership in your business. Your VA truly feels like a part of your business. They have an actual vested interest in this thing doing well. And, um, and it's a really powerful way to basically, you know, it's, it's one thing to say, oh, we'll be, you know, I, I'm, I want to be with you for years and, you know, I'm going to give you a Christmas bonus and all that. And that's all good, but nothing really, you got to put your money where your mouth is. Okay. That's basically what I'm saying. So the salary situation takes it even one step further. So think about it. Like what we have seen in front row CEO is very well-intentioned people um, hiring their VAs and saying, you know, I'm going to guarantee you because we recommend that you guarantee like 20 hours a week. I mean, the more you can guarantee the VA, the more, um, the more a, a real part of their, your business are gonna, you're, they're going to be because they don't have to find another client, right? Like if, if you could guarantee them a certain number of hours every week, then that, that, that's such a relief because they don't have to go hunt new clients, right? So that that in and of itself, if even though you're not paying a lot, guaranteed 20 hours a week at five dollars an hour, great. That's going to make someone very very happy. Um, but if you take it one step further and you say, you know what, I'm going to pay you for 20 hours a week, no matter what, right? Like 20 hours a week, no matter what. So you might be thinking, well, Jen, um, if you're if if I'm paying someone 20 hours a week. Um, but they only work 15. I mean, I'm getting, I'm going to get the, I'm going to get the short end of the stick. No, you're not. So I had a long lengthy discussion and we talked about this in the last video with the um, owner of uh, a platform that is all about hiring VAs. He's, he goes back and forth to the Philippines all the time. He's, he's, he, um, he has a platform where uh, in the Philippines that is all VAs um, where people hire VAs. And he is very much an advocate for the VA. And he said, this is better for them because um, if you don't get work to them, if you, if you don't get work to them and you don't have work for them to do at, um, and, and you still have to pay them that salary, well, it's on you. So you better make sure you have work for them to do. And in the course we talk about, and I'm, I'm going to actually, I want to write a blog post about this because I've been stewing on this a, a lot. Um, I'm just trying to think of the name that I want to call this, this thing, which is, it's, it's, um, oh man, you know, I thought of it right before I fell asleep the other day. And, um, and I was like, that's really good. I should wake up right now and write it down. And I didn't, but basically work that they can always turn to, no matter whether you give someone, a, you know, you're not on top of it one week, right. And you just forgot to get yourself together to give them the stuff they needed to, to work on. There should always be this, um, task they could turn to that is always there for them, no matter what. So like an example would be reaching out to people to get you, on their podcast. Like that's a never ending job. Like they can always be sending emails, doing research of places where you would be a good podcast guest and doing that kind of outreach, outreach, um, research in general, um, you know, um, sending messages on LinkedIn on your behalf, sending messages, uh, through your Facebook page to, to certain members in your membership site. Like there's always going to be work. I got to think of the name of what that kind of work is. I want to come up with something cool, but there should always be that. So, but, okay. So even though you're going to be paying them a salary, they're still going to be there. You still need to put in how much the salary is based on is based on 20 hours a week is based on 40 hours a week. Okay. And also, we need to be asking, we need to be asking um, that they keep track of their hours using a free app like Clockify, for example. Okay, so or time, some time tracking app, because you do want to see how much time is being spent on tasks, just so you can, you understand how long things take. And it, that, that's just important for you to know as the CEO of your business. So they're still going to be doing that. So 
finally, I really could have answered this more quickly. I could have gotten to the point, but I needed to sort of give all that background first. So to answer your question, Shauna, how much should you pay salary? Well, it's still based on hourly. Okay. So if you are going to start out with someone at $5 an hour and you're going to pay them a salary based on 20 hours a week, then you're going to guarantee them $100 a week. So their salary is $100 a week. And uh, we talked, I think we talked about this last time, but, or someone followed up to the last video with a question about, should this be, um, is it okay if we do it monthly? And no, it's not. Um, it that That's not good for them. That's not going to work for them. So you do need to do this weekly um, to pay them weekly, but it's really no big whoop because you're paying the same amount all the time. And I also want to throw in there what John had told me, the, the guy that I was telling you about, and I, I have found this to be true as well. And that is your, is it, you know, prov provided that you have things set up in a way that, that your VA knows what to work on, um, you're going to get, they're going to do more. They, they will likely end up working more than those hours. You know, when you hire the perfect, and that's the thing, that's why you want to hire the perfect match VA. When you hire the perfect match VA, you're really not going to have to worry about getting taken advantage of. And then I would finally say, do you really care, right? So um, if you're paying 40 hours a week, but they get the job done in 30 hours, do you really care that you're paying them for four? No, not at that. Not at these rates. You want a job done well um, by a person that you trust. So great. I paid you for 40 hours. You got it done in 30. Great. So there's, you know, there's that way of looking at it as well. So I'm going to see if there's any questions. Um, I'm in Zoom, so I have to look at my at my phone. Okay, so Annika says, if you make it a 40 hour to work week, no hours counted, how do you do holidays when they don't work? I pay them. So that's part of the, that's part of the benefit is that you, because think about it, if you, if you were getting paid a salary, your, 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 your employer does not dock you uh, for that. So they're getting paid, but you know, but that is up to you. I mean, um, if, if they're, you know, if someone takes three weeks off, for example, and they need to take like, you know, then, then, then maybe you don't do that. But as the, as the CEO, you get to make those calls. So, um, that's actually a good question. I should probably do a separate video in front row CEO when we, as we update stuff and talk about that, um, holidays and vacation. And Nika says, I really agree. We are paying for the solutions, not the hours. Yes, you said that um, much more eloquently than I. Um, you're paying for the solutions, not the hours. And, and that frees you up, I think, so much too. It takes away that anxiety of feeling like um, you need to micromanage and, you know, um, but, but going back, like the way that we're going to teach this in front row CEO is that you want to do this. This is a gradual thing, right? Like, so you're not starting right off the bat with the salary. You're starting off with a trial week or two weeks or potentially even a trial month. And you're going to keep them on hourly for that because you're going to be watching. You, you We teach in front row CEO to actually trial more than one person at a time is usually, is usually better. Um, and they don't, necessarily know. They don't know that that they're in trial with other people, um, but it gives you an opportunity to actually see their work, to see how how quickly they work, because, because, because even though you aren't counting hours, um, efficiency is important, right? You, you don't want to think that like you're going to give them one task and it's going to take them a week to do it, where it takes another person two hours, right? That's just basic they need to be efficient. Um, and so I'm not saying to ignore that. Absolutely not. It's going to be first a trial period paid hourly, and then you move into salary, which I need to make another note because we have to update our agreement templates in the course. Update agreement templates. Um, and Phyllis thought that Nika also made a good point. 
And good morning, Phyllis. And Annika says, thanks, that's a good point. And I'm very happy for the VA I got from working in your program. I am so glad. Thank you. Um, okay, so that was a really good question. Thank you for um, asking it. 